We're losing a lot of species. All the time, things are dying. And one of the problems with that is that if there were some interesting genes, interesting life forms that are present and we lose them, then we've lost it forever. We know that species are disappearing from the oceans at an alarming rate. And so much of what's underwater remains a mystery to us. And it would be a horrible shame if all of that biological diversity that we know is out there would disappear before we've even had a chance to name all those species. The mission is to put aside the DNA of many marine species that we think might go extinct very soon. Northeastern University intrinsically is interested in impacts. The work we do has to have an impact on society. So having a collection at hand that has the diversity of the ocean provides a, you know, an incredible experimental tool. It's a, a perfect partnership. We've already been discussing with OGL to help our students and our, our faculty experts round out their collections in the biorepository. I think we have, feel that there is a stability to OGL that we really didn't have before. Now we will be able to expand the collection quite significantly. Coming to Northeastern not only helps us in terms of um, providing us with many potential collaborators that can help us to build our collection, but also gives us higher visibility so that many more researchers will learn about our collection because we're associated with a well-known major research university. For us, it then provides a focal point as we have the collection in the world which people are going to be seeking not just to contribute to, but also to borrow from and study from. Now with OGL being at Northeastern, I could go right down the hall into their freezers because of their open access mission. And if I need to, to compare my work to a few other corals or, or other organisms in their repository, it's, it's very easy access. It's very hard to say what could happen if we provide access to those things because we've seen a lot of really uh, exciting and interesting things come out of the study of the genomes of the terrestrial world. So now if we expand that to the extreme diversity of the marine environment, it's almost un unimaginable what might come of that. And it will be the new discoveries that we can't even guess about today that may well turn out to be the most important ones 50 years from now.